Josh here with Flex Trades at IMTS 2022. One of my most popular blogs we put out is Every Technician's Toolbox. Go ahead and uh, check the link below to read that. But we talk a lot in there about the tools that every technician coming out of tech school should be considering having in their first toolbox. We mentioned the toolbox a little bit, but not a lot. Luckily, I'm here today with Michael Ryan, owner and president of Storelock the last American-made toolbox, and he's gonna tell us a little bit more about what you should be considering for your first toolbox, and showing us what's cool about his product and his company. Michael, thank you for the time. Well, uh, thanks for inviting me to address your uh, the people, uh, students, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the Storelock product. Uh, this is an original Swiss design. Uh, most of the good designs were originated, this concept of modular storage drawer, they call it, was basically uh, because of space considerations mm. and you know a lot of manufacturing it, it kind of it was started in Europe and then it, it kind of came over to the United States and most of the manufacturing of them right now are uh, you know the better ones are in North America right now okay so this is a we call this the MM2 but it's a good starter unit for uh, a student that would get into it like his first job or you know in a factory environment or you know in a shop or diesel mechanic whatever and you have a combination of drawer sizes they're all 400 pound capacity full suspension and that's what you need to store anything like you know drills taps inserts stuff like that because they call that tool steel and, and, the, and this product was designed originally back in the 1930s in Europe by a tool maker and he needed something where you had high density storage that you could store a lot of heavy things in. Sure. So that's what we do, and we still make the same, use the same uh, tooling that was used, you know, decades ago mm -hmm. to stamp out a lot of the parts. And we added a lot of these features like the uh, store track system, where you have the uh, shelves above, the preset tooling, mm -hmm. your steel pegboard where you can put lock hooks in, sure. overhead lights. Uh, swing arm, you know, for a document holder. That's a great feature. Yeah, and you, there's usually a maple top, but you could put a stainless cap in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, you have a heavy fork channel at the bottom. It could be either stationary or, or it could be mobile like this one. And then you want to get the right height. Now this is a real good stand-up work height. It's about 42 inches. I would recommend that for most people. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could go lower if you want. I wouldn't go too much higher, but I, you could go lower. Mm -hmm. But other than that, this is 100% uh, as far as our product is concerned, 100% made in the USA out of 100% USA components. So mm -hmm. that's really our branding. You know, uh, it's uh, the best cabinet you'll ever buy, mm -hmm. made in the USA, 100% USA components, and it's guaranteed for 55 years. Awesome. So that's what you call a quantitative lifetime. And uh, you can say lifetime guarantee, but if you if you look in the boilerplate, it's not a lifetime guarantee. Yep. But this truly is, and it's a, a no risk investment. Well, and I know from talking to you earlier too, you've owned the company about 30 years now, right? Well, we've been manufacturing for 31. We actually started out as a distributor of this product. Got you. But it was you know a couple of years before that, so we've been in business now for about 30. And I years. bet you've probably seen a legacy cabinet or two that's lasted beyond that 55 years that, that you hear stories about. On dad started with and it got handed down or something like that. Well, you know the product has been in the United States since the 70s, so we are approaching 50 yeah. years. Uh, so we do have cabinets that now we didn't make those, but they are were the e, or the store lock cabinet that are over 50 years old, and they still work because we get calls. Hey, do you still have the uh, you know lock, you know a lock or whatever a part or some dividers, partitions? So that's kind of where we're at with that. Sure. Now this is a great kind of general tool chest. We have a ton of welders and fabricators too that we employ and that we talk to in tech school all the time. Is there a fabrication table you have that maybe you think they should be considering when they're coming into the trades? Well, uh, you know, in fabrication, you're still going to have a, a hand tools. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're welding, you're going to have your gloves, your helmet. You're going to have. Uh, you know, you could store wire rod in here or whatever you guys have to store. But what our guys use, because we have a lot of welders, is similar, but it might, uh, you know, maybe some of the drawers will be deeper mm -hmm. because you want to catch, you know, some of the clamps and all that. Sure, stuff. of course. Well, so last thing I'll tell you all too, besides pointing out this one cool feature, every cabinet, you can probably see it best on this one behind me here, is already built and engineered to be moved with forks. That is super handy, especially if you're changing shops or if you're semi-mobile or project-based. 
But as a person that's seen an awful lot of tool chests, owned an awful lot of tool chests, when you start shopping these at price point two, you take in quality of manufacture, quality of materials, and then just overall ease of use and compare that price point by price point. I'll never spend your time or money for you, but you know I'll always throw in my two cents. And this is definitely a product worth digging into. So Mike, I really appreciate the time. Appreciate you showing this off and letting us show some of our uh, folks out there on the internet too, so. Well, good luck to everybody. Thank you. Pretty cool, huh? We're here at IMTS 2022. This is the IMTS Rally Fighter, and it is full of 100% custom parts. If you like making cool custom parts, we might have the jobs for you. Make sure to like and subscribe below this video, but then go to flextrades.com and check out our available jobs. We might have an awesome fit for you, just like this car.